action-packed, traumatic, and downright bananas. Why is I Had an Accident such a legendary episode? Oh, I got dead again. This game stinks. <laughs> First, we start off by enjoying the majesty that is Sand Mountain. See? That's why you must always pay attention to the mountain. I'm listening to you, mountain! And the gang is all here. All of your favorite characters. Also Squidward. Everybody's an idiot except for me. Well, it's true. But then, the unthinkable happens. SpongeBob! Look out for that tree! Uh -huh. What are you even doing here, tree? Don't worry, guys. Everything's under control, because I'm in Netball! Like every legendary tale, it stemmed from a tragedy. The tragedy? of a shattered tailbone. One more injury like that, and you could wind up like that poor creature there in the iron butt. In the iron butt. It itches. And there it is, the epic threat of one more booty bruise. Hey, SpongeBob, you gotta try this, dude. Ah, we finally got enough people for a seven mile spanking machine. Ah. Escalation. Suddenly, everyone is a rear end enthusiast, and the threat has never been larger. Ah! Is this where the line starts? Thus, our hero is caged by his own delicate derriere. Hey, SpongeBob, you ready to go sandboarding again? Like every strong, handsome hero, SpongeBob had no choice but to adapt. And so I've simply decided I am never leaving my house again. Never leaving my house again. Just sitting in your house? Ain't you gonna get lonesome? I won't be lonesome. I've got all the friends I need right here. Enter a new family of friendship. This is Penny and Chip. And say hello to you's napkin. Well, how are you gonna keep your job at the Krusty Krab? A really long spatula. Truly a model of ingenuity. What about eating? I'm a sponge. I'll just filter feed. <gasps> Congratulations. You may be hearing the greatest sound nature has to offer as SpongeBob digs down into his roots graciously, elegantly, legendarily. But all would not be well for long, for Sandy and Patrick sought to free SpongeBob from his fanny fears. We'll get SpongeBob to come outside, and then he'll see there's nothing to be afraid of. And that's when I punch him, right? Look at the jellyfish out here. I got one. <laughs> My new hobby is much safer, isn't it, Chip? Dust collecting. Hello, Olympics? I'd like to suggest a new sport. I think I caught one. And when temptation took the form of cake, SpongeBob displayed magnificent modesty. I don't need the wish, Penny. Everything I could ever want is right here. I know of a place where you never get harmed. Indoors, indoors, indoors. Take it away, Penny. Hello, Beyonce? Are you ready to retire? Patrick and Sandy's plans were foiled as SpongeBob stayed true to his tushy. Which brings us to our final act. One that would go down in history as dynamic, dangerous, and dynamic. Eek! A gorilla! Save me, SpongeBob! Even Chip knows that's Patrick in the same costume he wore for Halloween last year. At first, our hero was too smart to be fooled until... Hey, Sandy! Who's your friend? But... but you're supposed to be in the gorilla suit. I am in the gorilla suit. Everything you thought you knew changed! <gasps> A real gorilla?! Huh? With his friends in danger, SpongeBob dove into action without hesitation. Uh, uh, without much hesitation. Wow. I think I can do this. Get off of me! Jim, help me! Help me! Ah! 
I'm still alive. And thus, SpongeBob conquered his fears, completing a tale of legendary- Oh, uh, wait, the gorilla. That's right. Is it too late to go back inside yet? It's too late. Patrick? Sandy? Yeah, SpongeBob? I'm sorry I caused all this. I'm not scared of going outside anymore. But I'm terrified of gorillas now. Well, that's okay, SpongeBob. Us too. You know what I don't understand, though? What? What's a gorilla doing underwater in the first place? Oh, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the, see the, the, George, they're onto us! Well, if you learned one thing from this legendary episode, it's that there's no business like monkey business. So remember to steer clear of primates, everyone. And please, stay and neuter your...